Okay, we just did that. Finite limits as x approaches infinity. Here we're doing infinite limits as x approaches a finite number. Finite is the opposite of infinite. Infinite, that's just the way the English language is. Nobody pronounces anything correctly. There's different pronunciations for things. Other languages, there are no different pronunciations for things, just English. Exactly. All right, so we're going to look back at this graph here. We know what it looks like. It looks like this, sort of, really roughly speaking here. We already know that the limit as you approach infinity, okay, as, as the point goes this way, the limit is zero. If you go the other way here, what's the limit going to be as you approach zero from the positive side? Infinity. If you approach zero from the negative side, this is really good. I have all this graphing technology on here, and I'm moving a dot along a picture that I drew. What's going to happen as I go towards from the negative side? Negative infinity. <clears throat> this is the definition of a vertical asymptote. Make the connection to what we looked at. Um, what we looked at for horizontal asymptotes. This is for vertical asymptotes. All right. Um, a ver for a vertical asymptote, it's going to be if the limit is infinity or negative infinity. Okay, you can read the thing down below here. Um, that line, x equals a, vertical line is a vertical asymptote if either one of these is true. The limit as you approach a finite number from the right or the left is infinity. It's the reverse of what we had before, right? Okay, this is, in other words, this is the limit as x approaches a finite number from the right or the left. It only has to be from one side. It is plus or minus infinity. So make the connection with what we did before. For horizontal asymptotes, for horizontal asymptotes, you're letting x approach infinity. Horizontal asymptotes are if x, as x approaches plus or minus infinity of some function is finite number. I don't know why we use b in the last one. Use a here. It doesn't matter. Vertical is as you approach some number here is infinity. Actually, it's not plus or minus a. It's a from the positive or negative side. So these are switched, right? Here you're approaching infinity is a finite number. Here you're approaching a finite number. It's infinity or negative infinity. Totally inappropriate. Good thing the microphone on this is not very good. We don't want to have any uh, R-rated calculus videos, okay? Please, come on, have some decorum, okay? <coughs> yeah, where, where x is in grade 10 and 11, you talked about non-permissible values and where, where the function is undefined. This function is undefined at negative 1. x equals negative 1. That's where the vertical asymptote is going to be. In grade 11, you look for vertical asymptotes. You don't really look for horizontal asymptotes. Because to look for horizontal asymptotes, you're essentially talking about limits, and it's more difficult. Vertical asymptotes, you can learn, well, you just look where it's undefined, and that's why it happens. I would like you to write statements for both, though, for these, if it does have some horizontal ones. All right? Does have a vertical asymptote at x equals zero. Has a vertical asymptote at x equals zero, since what is true? Because uh, the limit as x approaches 
zero from the it doesn't matter here from the positive side or from the negative side is infinity as you approach this from this side or this side it's infinity that's that's why or how you can justify that it has a vertical asymptote there so that statement goes with the one above there right that goes with x equals zero does it have any horizontal asymptotes Has a horizontal asymptote. Right, where is the horizontal asymptote? Yeah, y equals zero. What's the justification for that? Since the limit as you approach. Yeah, I mean, you could probably put plus or minus infinity is zero, right? So again, make sure you realize vertical asymptotes are as you approach a finite number, it's infinite or negative infinity. Horizontal asymptotes are as you approach infinity. Makes sense, right? X is approaching infinity means it's going to be horizontal like that, going out to the right. If you're making Y infinity, you're going vertically like that, right? Try the other three and then we'll run out of time before starting anything else.